Hello, and welcome to another edition of The Emotions Expert. I'm John Rushton. We're going to talk about what you feed your mind, so you will become. It's quite simple, but a lot of people get into a place in life where they, they don't want to be, or they're not very happy with. But what you feed your mind is quite important. Like if you feed your body with too much food, you become fat, or you get spots if you have too much fatty food or something of that nature. Whatever you do in excess by feeding your body, you become that person eventually catches up with you. So it's moderation and general understanding of what you're going to eat and everything is balance. And so with your mind. If you continually watch soap operas, if you continually watch what people do, what other people say, you actually lose a bit of yourself. You lose a bit of your own thought process, a bit of your own creativity, because you're so busy engrossed in watching what other people do, what they say, what they, uh, where they go, everything, what they do with other people, how they interact. Well, a lot of this, if it's a fly on the wall scenario, it's it's not actually accurate because it's done in front of a camera and people tend to act differently in front of a camera as they do normally. It's some, some kind of kudos they have. But you've also got to be very careful that if you feed your mind, like eating endless, endless chocolates, you become fat. And if you feed your mind with endless, endless visual chocolates, then your mind will actually stop functioning as it should do because you'll lose a much of the power of what you want to do, where you want to go, how you want to see things. And not only that, it actually becomes to a certain point compulsive. You've got to keep watching it. You want more and more and more and more. And if you do want more of all of these things, then what are you doing in the rest of the space around you? Where do you think you're going to go? What do you think you're going to do? Are you actually concentrating on what you really need to do? Is this just more than a letting go, a visual letting go at some point of the day by watching these things? And what you read, who you stick by, it's very important too. We all have our biases in life. We all have our thought processes regarding politics, sex, people, their manners, who they are, what they say, what they do. If you like gregarious people because they're out and about and bright and bubbly, or you prefer, prefer something more sedentary, that's also fine as well. You actually sort of migrate towards those types of people. But if you're not careful, if you do migrate towards them, you can become very insular because you can be actually rest in sort of a bubble. And when you become in that bubble, nothing much ever happens because you do things which are always in your comfort zone and you never ever grow in your comfort zone. So it's very important that at times you leave your comfort zone and do something else do something differently. And if you don't like doing something too great, just do something which is slightly off the beaten track. Something which you think you can cope with, which you may like, some, something which you'll get some feedback, which will be an enhancing to your whole body and to your mind and the structure of how you work and think. Always, always, always look for something different. Never perpetuate the sameness again just because it's comfortable and it's easy and you can do it without thinking. Because when you do that, eventually it'll become dull and boring and you'll think, oh, now what am I going to do? Oh, this is boring. I don't want to do this anymore. And you lose the impetus. If you do something different, you've always got something to fall back on. You've always got plan B, C, D, E, or whatever you want to do. You've always got an alternative. You've always got another solution. You've always got somewhere else to go. So it's important that you feed your mind with lots and lots of things outside of your basic structure, because that is where you're going to grow. And that, in actual fact, is where your happiness will lie.